How about now? Anyone? Sorry about that. I had incorrect information displayed on my screen. Hi, Tim. Hi, Amanda. All right, I think we're going to those hard goods. I think so. We kind of organized, well, I did, the death pile. It is getting more manageable. Hey, Donna, how are you? Hey, Cynthia. Hello, hello. All right. And now all the mannequins in here. Birthday buddy. Oh, you celebrated last night too. Cynthia celebrated with you. Okay. Hey, Janice. We went to have Mexican food last night. It was great. And we walked there. So that was even better. Just give me a baby wife. I'll clean these. I don't understand why they keep like, lurking. <laughs> Just give me a baby wipe. The joys of working in the closet. Ooh, sushi sounds amazing. Cynthia shares a birthday with you. Right. You gotta be good people, Cynthia. I love that. Sushi sounds so good. We haven't had it in so long. We have pokey, but it's not. Go and hit the same. Scrubbing some shoes with a baby wipe. And then I'm going to take the goo on to them. That's how you clean the hunter boots. Olive oil, goo gone, anything that's like oil based will. A good number on these guys. So we have some shoes we could list. We've got a bunch of hard goods in these boxes. And these right here? Yeah. Um, these are hard good boxes. So this beaded. <laughs> new old stock, baby. Let's see. I mean, hopefully it's new old stock and not just like plopped back in the box. Yeah. The box does have some tape on it, so. Who keeps the box or something like that? This is also one of those things that I think once you take it out of the box, you'll never get it back in. Yeah, true. So anyway, we, we organized. We're going to try to list some of these hard goods because they're taking up some room, some valuable real estate in the old office here. We need the room. Hey, Tommy, how you doing? Happy. No, it's not Monday, bud. You're off. You're off a day. <laughs> Amanda's birthday is Thursday. Okay. It's good. You summer babies. Tommy's birthday is coming up, too. I have no idea when your birthday is, but I know you're a Leo. It's got to be coming up in the summertime sometime. I'm just going to have Dan, like, take some pictures first of some random things. We're just going to get it done. Today was, like, our weekend because we've been so busy cleaning the garage. You guys don't know about this, but we cleaned the garage all weekend it was, rough. it was a rough go of it so honestly today was the first day of rest we've had because his birthday was yesterday so we were both kind of dead today <laughs> we we're trying to like you know get through it but it wasn't okay nothing is breaking this up what's going on who gone isn't even working what I don't want to sell shoes. 
This is called London Funk on these shoes. <laughs> <laughs> these are mine. That's a, that's a very difficult thing to remove. Yeah, these are my wellies from when I lived in London, and the funk will not come off of them. I have tried everything. I'm I'm into the Goo Gone, the olive oil, the everything, and this is just called the London Funk, and it is permanent. August 21st. Hey, Christy. I've not been getting much inventory, so I really got into the back of my closet, worked through those things. I got buried. That's a really good idea. Okay, Donna, could you help? When someone buys, sorry, when someone buys and they pick they want priority mail, but I charge first class as it's under a pound. It was a difference of six dollars. What do I do? I can't afford to chip in. How did they pick priority mail? How are your shipping policies set up? No, Leos are loyal. They're not a-holes. Fiona's pretty blunt, if that's what you're referring to, Tommy. She is a blunt, amazing person. <laughs> She'll tell you about the life care flights. <laughs> Leaving Sumter. <laughs> <laughs> the most loyal people I've ever known in my life, giving and loyal, give you the shirt off their back, have been Leos. I stand by this statement. And I believe that if I need a Fiona shirt, she would give it to me. All right, this ain't working. So, Donna, yeah, tell us more about your shipping, your shipping policies. Because I, you shouldn't have it so that they can choose priority. I'm really confused about that. About that. If you're doing the flat rate shipping that we recommended, which I think you are, how can they choose? Maybe maybe she means they were just asking. They're asking or they, they made a choice. Give us more info. Yeah. And also, um, you don't have to chip into shipping. You don't that's not your job. That's what I'm thinking too. She probably got paid for priority. If it was an option, then they'll pay more. But on ours, it's not an option. I didn't show anyone how to set up an option. Just don't give people options. Mm -mm. <laughs> like, no. This is how it's going to be. Donna's very new to eBay, but she's crushing it doing a very good job but sometimes these issues come up so we'll do the best we can to help you shipping is the hardest part about ebay in my opinion when you're first getting started hi kristen i need measurements on that guy they're uh they're on the tag 50 by 60. Man, I am cleaning. <laughs> Shoes and more coats and sweaters tonight. Good. We sold um, coats and sweaters today. I guess it's that time of year. I don't know. Who's to say? All right, what if we're just like authentic British slime? <laughs> you can pay extra. That's right.
Oh, that's true. But what she's saying, I think, Tommy, is that it's under a pound. If you selected first class and then put in the weights for priority in the listing, when you go to print the label, it was switch. If it's our mistake, we just have to eat it. Totally agree with that sentiment. But I think she said it was under a pound. Oh, so you're saying if you put weight, see, we didn't tell people to put weights in them in the listing. I don't know if she put weights in the listing. We don't put weights in the listing because we we risky like that. <laughs> What are you saying, Megan? I need room and income. Same. I pulled about two thirds of my jewelry and made two lots that I'm listing now. I'm making a pack with myself to source only a higher sell through rate for the next little bit. No, 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 Megan. Forever. <laughs> Seriously, it's not worth your time to source and list things that are not high sell through rates. Get in the habit for this little bit and then keep the habit forever. It will change your life. And I'm glad that you're like there. And the list that you put in our group is phenomenal. If you're not in our Facebook group and you have not seen Megan's, uh, I get nothing from you being in our Facebook group. So I'm just letting you know that there are some resources there. And she has put together a fantastic bolo list from what all of her people, that, I guess the people that you watch on YouTube have said. But what's better than the bolo list from YouTube people is that beside many of the bolo brands she has listed the current sell-through rate and i'm guessing if the sell-through rate wasn't high you've taken off the brand that's what i'm guessing and it's fantastic it, i really need to get in there i meant to do it this weekend but we started cleaning our three-car garage that was hoarded so i will get in there tomorrow though because i think it's such a valuable resource and i appreciate the time and effort you put into it not only for us, but for you as a reseller, it's going to make you better. You're going to make more money in less time. At first, it's going to feel like you're wasting time shopping. That's what it's going to feel like. But at the end of the day, would you rather waste time shopping or listing crap that's going to take up room in your house that won't sell? Got to ask yourself these questions. And then you'll start to get, you've already got the list going of stuff that will sell. I mean, it's going to sell, right? If it's, 80% of the listings have sold. It, yours is going to sell too. That's stats. That's just regular old statistics. Fiona, sometimes yours comes in priority. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I wish I could like share your screen and see. Then it says, I'm with you, Donna, and with you, Tommy. I try to set my mail prices to cover, but sometimes it comes through as first and sometimes priority. I just go with the flow. I'm very interested by that. That the buyers have a choice because my buyers don't have a choice. We're, uh, no, 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 no. Go into those shipping policies and clean those things up. Make sure that they are not, if your thing is less than a pound, it goes first class every time. The only time our first class stuff does not go first class is when we say it's going to go priority and then we ship it in a flat rate because it's a nicer item or something, you know, over a hundred dollars or something. And if, if you do give them a choice, make sure they pay. Like, I don't understand. You should, I mean, each option should have its own right? price. Yeah, it should have a price. This might be a shipping thing or a glitch. And if it's a glitch, the eBay chat should be able to help you. But you do want to figure out what it is so that it doesn't keep happening to you, right? It's probably... a good thing to spend some time figuring out. So it's 
what we call a growing pain. So Megan says, when I source now, I only choose a sell-through rate of 25% or higher if it's higher price. I only want to source for 50% sell-through rate for now while I wait for the bigger bucks. Yep, totally get it. Hey, just me. Hi. But I think that there is, um, I don't know if we talk about this enough, but there's something to be said for like scanning rando things. For sure. That you kind of have a gut instinct on, <laughs> like Dan did this weekend. So we went thrifting on his birthday. And why this weekend? I don't mean this weekend. I mean on his birthday yesterday. Right. Whoa, we went thrifting yesterday. Yes, we did. It was so long. <laughs> and we really didn't buy much of anything. And Dan bought one thing at this Goodwill that was a. It was terrible. The Goodwill um, was terrible. The, the thing was, I bought was awesome. <laughs> he bought one thing. I didn't buy anything. He bought one thing, and it was a plush, and it's worth like a hundred fifty dollars. Yep. But he knew to look it up, not because he knew the plush, because you knew there's no way. I mean, even Rebel has to look stuff up, right? right. Like, <laughs> she knows everything about plush. And um, it was anime. It was something else. It, it, was, had a cat. A, it was a cat. Anime cat. Anime that's, cat. That's, that's a twofer. <laughs> so, since it was that, we were like, Dan was like, well, I better look that up. And he did. It's worth $150. And the sell through rate is 100%. Hey, James. No, it's 50. There's oh, there's one, one listed? One listed. One sold. Oh, there's 50%. There's one listed, one sold, but they're both in the same realm. Yeah. Sometimes if you don't look at the sold and you look at the listed, it'll be like hundreds of dollars and it sells for like 20, you know, <laughs> or like best offer taken or whatever. So anyway, we left the thrift store with one thing, which is like so unlike us. We would have never done that before. We'd have been like, well, we're here. We better get some bread and butter. <laughs> So true. <laughs> this will definitely flip, but not for much. And we would have said that to ourselves. Like, stop doing that. <laughs> no. Just leave with the $100 thing. And if you leave with no $100 things, well, you didn't waste your time on the back end. We're trying to practice this, too. We're, we're learning. We're all learning together. And I'm speaking mainly to clothing sellers right now because this is where we get trapped. <laughs> also, I was going to do a video about this this week. I'm not sure if we'll get to it, but the video was going to be like, sell more of what's selling. So in our closet right now, belts are selling. We don't even sell belts. Bags are selling. We don't even sell bags. So my butt should be going to the thrift store and getting belts and bags. Like that's what I should be doing because that's what's selling in my closet. And it's out of the ordinary. Am I doing that? No. Yeah. <laughs> but I think having a but kind of... But I'm listing. I got three belts in here. Okay. Dan's listing belts right now. I stand corrected. <laughs> but that's maybe something to think about is to look at your own data and see what's moving in your store and get more of that if you were going to go thrifting anyway. Not, I'm not saying go thrifting out of the blue because we all get in trouble. <laughs> not trying to get you in trouble. Mm -hmm. I'm scrubbing these boots. Yeah. I'm listing Beavis and Butthead for the SNES. Oh my god. Yes. Yes. I think if you don't allow yourself, if you do that, the calculation, you know, if you just allow yourself to thrift slower and buy less and actually look up everything, I think your reselling business will skyrocket. That's my prediction. I don't know. I don't know you guys' numbers, but you guys. You guys. Your guys'. <laughs> <laughs> I love the colloquial, like expressions where people live. Aw, thanks, Melissa. She said happy birthday. Thank you. 
Tommy said, I listed, wow, that's impressive. I listed 25 pairs of shoes today. 11 have sold already. I think they'll list more shoes. Yeah. I would list more shoes too if I had them. We did find a box of shoes that was missing, so we could like list those. Yeah, we could. There's some really good stuff in there too. Is there? I didn't look. Yeah. I was just like, oh, check. <laughs> Also, you guys are going to find out tomorrow if you watch our videos on the other channel. But we're, we have almost, it's incredible what we sold from that auction lot that we got with all the Eileen Fisher. Uh, we're almost out. So we've listed 170 things since December of, of that lot that we got. And 147 have sold. Yikes. And the stuff that hasn't sold is Eskandar stuff that's like $1,000. So I think that we have like three more pairs of Eileen Fisher pants. Oh no. I know. And so we were talking today like, well, what are we going to do when the stock runs dry, the well runs dry, right. like are our numbers going to go down, way down? Because we depend on selling those pants now. Like that's part of our business. So like, where do we find more of those pants? We need more of them, like stat. Where do we get them? So we need to go on the hunt. We do. Because like rando thrifting, we do that all the time. It ain't producing Eileen Fisher pants in size extra large like we need. <laughs> Thirty on, at man. a time. Yeah. <laughs> so do we? How do we find these hookups? That's that's the next thing we need to figure out for our business. Because we know what's working for our business, but how do we do replenishables? Which is the, the you know, the word that all resellers grail. like, huh? It's the holy grail. It is the holy grail. And everybody is different. Like Tommy has hokas and yeah. um, on clouds. We have Eileen Fisher and Eskandar. Where do we find more of it? When you know what works for you and you become a little bit of an expert, I'm not a fan of totally niching down. I, you, know, you guys know that. But if you're an expert in something or you have really good luck with it, try to find more of that. Yeah. That's just logic, right? <laughs> more Eileen Fisher to list, but not pants, I don't think. Really? I don't think so. Why wouldn't we have listed them already? Mm -hmm. These these is nasty. I tried everything. Show that to James. He's on here. What the hat? Yeah, James, make this hat but for your channel. He's my boy in reseller life. Yeah, but you know what this is. This is uh, No, but it's funny. It's Elon Musk's company. Mm -hmm. Never mind, don't make that. Don't get a bureau. It's another one of them. What company does this thing do? Uh, it tunnel bores. It's the company that's building the hyperloops. Is that actually happening? I think so. Oh, that's good. Maybe. He said, "Ha ha." Um, I'm waiting for the genie to pop out of those boots. I'm done with those boots. They just want to be sold as is. <laughs> <laughs> what was this thing called? Um, Compo Sasher. <laughs> I'll answer for Tommy. He sells on eBay and Poshmark, as far as I know. He's been doing really well on Posh. When I do my drafts on the computer for some reason, it isn't letting me promote anymore. I have to promote from my phone. Is your promotions tab turned off? You have to go into where it's like volume and promotions. It's a it's a double, so it might be turned off. Do you want me to show you, or when I turn my computer, I'll show you. You want to put it on? Yeah, that's the thing about the new listing tool. You can just like turn off fields and not realize that they're there. Like the skew field, right? It just goes away. Hello, everyone. I finally have internet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> here hello Kyle's here hi sorry I was cleaning y'all James you did another live mm -hmm. so if I go sourcing one hour drive and I don't see bangers how am I ahead by passing small profit items okay this is a good question because we don't drive an hour so I think you're, you're making a really good point a really good like debatable point that I hadn't thought of 
So I don't know the answer to this, Kyle. I'm going to think about this. Um, I guess my point was also in addition. So yeah, when you're driving an hour, you probably should make up for that. Right, Dan? Yeah. You probably should. Yeah. You should get some things that you know will flip. But I still think sell through is king. So like bread and butter that has a high sell through rate would be the better choice than things that you think will flip. You know what I mean? So spending some time uh, looking that up. But also what we found is stuff that we don't think is like banger sometimes is banger. So just look up everything. You need an assistant. Don't you have kids? Make them look it up for you. <laughs> Isn't that what kids are for? They got phones. No good. I've never used Flip. I don't know how it goes. Okay, I'm, I'm getting caught up. I, I need a man form for my suit jacket. I still have three from seven months ago. So 11 Hickey Freemans with pants on Saturday. I didn't know if I should get them since I haven't listed the three that I have. Here, show them the other. We have this man. Have you gotten this man? Look at this, Cynthia, on Amazon Prime. Just get this. It's $20 or something. Look at this sexy man. <laughs> sexy man on a hanger. See, just hang him up. We listed like this for two years. It was totally fine. Yeah. And you it's actually a, great. Just get a binder clip and... Clip the back of the jacket, and it's just as good. Look at these abs. <laughs> anyway, they have this in white and black. You got one, but he's tiny, man. Oh, just find your clip his back. That's what we did for many years. Yep. Yeah, just cinch, cinch the jacket a little bit in the center, in the back, and binder clip it. Many of our things, like one jacket that we sold today was listed on that thing. Yeah. So got it. <laughs> Did you write on there a corner marker? What are what? you doing? I'm erasing the piece. Oh, I thought you were erasing on the whiteboard. Yeah. He's smaller than my woman. <laughs> oh, no. The dreaded sport coat. It's not dreaded when you make a hundred bucks of it. That's another thing, Kyle. Look at the menswear. Longer tail items, but higher profit for sure. Has anyone in here sold anything on Grailed ever in your life? I think we sold one thing. I cross list every sport coat to Grailed and like we've sold one. One thing. Does anyone buy anything on Grailed? Should, am I wasting my time? Maybe you have a child size one. Maybe you have a baby man. Baby man. Slash <laughs> 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 so you're crying at me. Up. <laughs> Funny. I need a little table. Why won't my husband give me a little table? So I'm supposed to be listing stuff. Am I drafting this stuff? What's happening? Uh, uh yeah, yes. Mini me, man. Y'all are cracking me up. I bet you got a kids one. They do make kids ones, and they do they do awkwardly have abs. <laughs> we went to the store during COVID times. It was so weird, okay, because everything was shut down and we needed these, like, fake mannequin things. And so we went to the store in this industrial park and you had to, like, ring the doorbell. It was, like, the, all these protocols, right, because we were in lockdown. And so we go in there and there's no one in there. And there's all these freaky mannequins. <laughs> and we're like, it was like, hello? <laughs> Clearly someone let us in the door. We could not find any people. We are just like, Didn't these mannequins let us in? What happened? Anyway. We ended up getting them at this creepy store. They didn't have any white ones, though. So anytime we need to take pictures of black clothes, it's like a bad thing. Because we didn't have any way to differentiate. <laughs> like a big black blob. But I didn't measure the other belt before I wrapped it up. 
Can you turn on my uh, computer screen? Yeah. I got this at a place that sells this stuff. They said it was the only size they had. What? Ours is, here, give me that. Show her that with the woman. Ours is definitely bigger than the woman. Oh, well, just no, show her both. On your camera, you know what I mean? Movie alert! <laughs> they love when they used to show the movie. So this is the, mm. the female one, and then the male one is much, is much bigger. Good job. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, she had a plus size one. I wouldn't mind having one of those. So we don't have to get out the mannequin every time. Well, I know, right? My male fits inside my female, no jokes. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm laughing because these jokes. All right, what am I doing? Let's see what we got saved in drafts here. Whoa, 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 listings, drafts. <laughs> Y'all too much. Uh-oh, offer on the affliction. Uh-oh. Oh, God, it's going to be terrible. We've been getting way low offers all day. Guess who's taking them? Us. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, oh, that's a low offer. Accept. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Oh, no, we can't accept this one. All right. What is like $4? Oh, uh, 15 15 We have this thing listed at $148 on sale. Someone offered 15 <laughs> Man. Oof. Why'd you be someone in here? Who's from Sherman Oaks, California? One of y'all's. <laughs> Sherman Oaks people, you need to get your people. Take them home. They drunks. All right. We're going to see if we have this rug. Nope. Are you sure they didn't make it Really? Well, you call it something else. It's not that. It's good for pottery parts. Nope. Nope. Boring. Did you do a boring? The boring hat company. Boom. A hundred dollars? See, this is what I'm saying. I don't know if it's actually worth the like didn't sell for a hundred dollars. You don't know. The ones from that brand, because I think that's like the first the OG uh, printing, whatever print, whatever you want to call it. First whatever. Edition. Yeah. Okay. The all the other ones from that brand sold for close to a hundred bucks. Okay. I'll list it. Oh, I will. James, your hat's going to sell for $100. If it said my boring reseller life, just same fine, everything. <laughs> $100. I will buy your merch. You can make stickers too and send them out with all your media. Come on. Let me just be your manager. I want to be everybody's manager. <laughs> Am I doing this in use condition, right? Yeah. Okay. I mean, everybody manager. I have to be James' manager. He doesn't have time. He's listing all the time. I should be listing all the time. <laughs> All right, $100 it is. Median sold price, 45 100% had free listings. I mean, free shipping. But again, there are lower lower priced selling hats that are skewing that median sold price. Mm -hmm. This one just says first print, $45 free shipping. All right, well, we'll just see someone, you know. I got Jan chained to the picture taking station now. <laughs> Dang.
All right, I'm ready for pictures of the hat. Or should I just save these as ready to go dress for you? Um, whatever you want to do. I mean, I can photo room the. I don't need to photo room the hat pictures. They came out pretty good. I can send those to you. I mean, these boots aren't getting any better under my watch, so if you want to listen. Really? I mean, I don't know how to clean them any other way. I use goo gone. The goo was not gone. It was not. All right. One listing. Boom. Okay, what was the size of that rug? 50 by 60. What is it called? Sheepskin or something? What did you say? I didn't say anything. No, the measurement. 50 by 60. I mean, totally just zoned out. Square though, right? Oh, it's not. It's in the shape of a sheep. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's it's rectangular. Okay. You threw me by saying square. And I was like, <laughs> no, it's 50 by 60. <laughs> oh, but they're calling this one a throw. There's no way that's a throw. That is a carpet. I would. I know blankets. Do you want to really talk to me about blankets? No. Okay. I am the authority on blankets, and this is not a blanket. Okay, it might be a blanket. <laughs> but it's, like, not a very comfy blanket. It's yeah, got... with the underside being plain like that, it's weird. It has too much, like, structure. How do you even get under this blanket? I'm not a fan. And I'm a fan of all blankets. Just let me know. So, what does it say? This says cozy... Teddy faux fur throw 60 by 50 in mushroom brown. So let's see if they have this. And the edge it does look the same. Lame. Hey, moms. Happy Taco Tuesday. Yeah. We did not have tacos, but we did last night. Daily confinement style. <laughs> Oh, I got jokes. Got jokes. I love it. Perfect. Somebody make a YouTube right now. I'll subscribe. Pottery Barn Shearling Faux Fur Throw 50 by 60. I mean, it sounds like that, but this other person's thing sounded better because they called it what it was. If that's the case. Man, this is not a comfy blanket. That's all I'm telling you right now. Boneless wings. Then you have a boneless wing. Boneless wings do not exist. Those are chicken nuggets. <laughs> Didn't say you have chicken nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> so when we used to ask Siri how to make a hot toddy, <laughs> I don't know why. It was the weirdest thing. We were like, how do you make a hot toddy? I don't know why we were asking. Or what's in a hot toddy? And she'd be like, here's a recipe for boneless buffalo wings. <laughs> no, it was even weirder than that. It was like, for a hot toddy, I recommend boneless buffalo wings. <laughs> and you said it in a British accent. It was so weird. <laughs> boneless buffalo wings. <laughs> like, ah. Why? What is happening? Is it the Mongolian patchwork throw cozy faux fur? Um, I don't know. It's like that, is it? Not really. I mean... There's nothing patchwork about it. What's the patchwork about? Hmm? Is oh. that the only picture there? I don't know. Yeah, it's the only picture they have. Very, very lazy. I 
literally think Kitchen Dog just sent me my money. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, I just got a chase alert that Kitchen Dog sent me money. Um, from the show months ago? I don't know what it's from. I don't know. <laughs> I don't question if people send you money. I'm like, <laughs> wow. It's a lot of money, let's be honest, but some kind of money. I don't know how to list this. There's just like a lot of options and just I don't know how to go. Oh, what's this one? Uh, pottery barn faux sheepskin fur cozy throw blanket. Oh, it's 50 by 70. There's not anything on that to give me any indication. No. I don't think so. Sorry. I am out to dry. Sorry. Oh, so for 50 by 70. Super false fuzzy lightweight throw. I would not call that lightweight. Actually, how are we going to ship that? We really talked about the elephant in the room. So the teddy fur is not long enough. This can't be it. It's got to be Sherpa. Decorative throw. Yeah, right? You don't re really put it on your body. I think that's a bin. It's kind of gross me out, to be honest. But it is worth money. I'll list it. It's basically this. Pottery Barn Luxe Faux Fur Throw 50 by 60 Ivory. But it's not ivory. Wait. Or is it ivory? I mean, you could call that ivory. But, like, look at this person's ivory. It looks like super damaged compared to that. Mm. Yeah. It was pretty damaged. Is anything sold? Salt. It's just furry. It's like sheepskin or something, but should I try sheepskin? Alright, should I call this thing white or ivory? If I had to pick one, it'd be white. I mean, I don't know if white's an option. I'm just going to like call it. Hey, Karen. Hey, Danica. She said happy birthday. Thank you. No, we weren't here last night. Don't worry. Don't worry, Danica. We were out at the old blue goose. I'm going to put ivory white. Is that new without tags or what? Sherpa. Sherpa? Sheepskin. What, what is it like? Sherpa? Or sheep, sheepskin? I just wanted to put like... Like a style or whatever? Yeah. Oh, we didn't get a lottery ticket! What, is it like a Super Mega Millions or something? I don't know. Karen said I hope we... Happy birthday. I hope you bought a winning lottery ticket. I wish we did. We don't really play it a lot. Either. We don't do that. Sherpa is a synthetic. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is synthetic. It is. But it's longer than what I would consider maybe a Sherpa. Yeah. So I have faux fur throw. I think it's a dang rug. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Susie, how are you? She said, happy belated. Thank you. Oh, you I'm did? Good. I'm oh, pretty good. Oh, oh, Thanks. no, not you. <laughs> oh, and I got a message from Tina right when this happened. Sorry, I gave you money. That's not yours, probably. Yeah. 
<laughs> I just noticed that when closing up the books for 2122 season that your third costume designer installment never processed. Oh my god. <laughs> Y'all, even when I do theater, they don't pay me. <laughs> Man. Oh, okay. Well, I've gotten paid now. <laughs> That's awkward. All right. Danica ordered the floodlights. All right. From our link for your birthday. Melpos. The Melpos. <laughs> oh, Kyle, really? Kyle said, I listened to my first skirt today. Two skirts, actually. I tried to model them, but I didn't have the legs for it. I bet you got it. <laughs> Cut. Don't sell yourself short. Right. So everybody's picking gray. I think this thing is like white. I'm not going to put ivory. Yeah. Is ivory gray though? Okay, it's white. No, we did not drink another bottle. We went to the Mexican place and we had what's called ranch water, which is a shot of tequila over some ice and lime juice and then Topo Chico carbonated water. It was very refreshing and delicious. We normally don't drink any alcohol at restaurants, but we did because it's birthday. And uh, we never had that before. It was good. It tastes like a margarita. And they had like salt on the outside of the glass, some kind of flavored salt. It was good. I was here for it. Yeah. And then we had fajitas, no tortillas. I had a quesadilla, no tortilla. It was delicious. Lots of guacamole. Mm -hmm. And we walked there from our house. It was a. Stop putting that, Amy. Don't do that. All right, how much shipping on the rug? I think it's got to go ground 15, maybe more. 20 bucks? Yeah, 20. This is, yeah. All these big things because we've been selling big things so we should be able to yeah all right i'm ready for rug picks okay. I mean, get pictures whatever this thing is can you please explain a quesadilla quesadilla <laughs> make yourself a dang quesadilla <laughs> without tortilla i'm just imagining a melted glob of cheese That's... oh well there was chicken involved Yes. It was a chicken quesadilla. <laughs> chicken, spinach, mushroom, cheese. Yeah, if you didn't hear Dan, chicken, spinach, mushroom, and cheese. And then I put guacamole on it, all over it. And if I wasn't lactose intolerant, I would have been indulging in the sour cream as well. But it was delicious and keto AF. So good. It was all melted. It was kind of like a casserole, you know? Mm-hmm delicious but that's a very good point i forgot to mention the chicken, chicken. and the mushrooms <laughs> just give me a melted block of cheese <laughs> <laughs> she 
question was so kind about it. Could you please explain? <laughs> I have questions. <laughs> And then Dan got fajitas and he like polished them off. And I was like, no, nope, you need more. So we got some bacon wrapped shrimp fajitas. He had two entrees because it was his birthday. Right? Yeah. And then they tried to give us free sopapillas. Ah, oh, man, I was so mad. I would have taken those sopapillas so fast. Mm -hmm. I love them. I love the honey. I love the honey. <laughs> it's my favorite food. And I cannot eat it. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. All right. Which picture should I do? This one was the brownie. Yeah, probably. And this one looks better, but it's not as fuzzy. Maybe. What's it? We can have um champagne, white wine, obviously. Overrides for all service. What does this mean? What? Why does it say this? I used to be able to just switch my shipping. Um, you need it for. We don't offer different services. That's what. No. Flat shipping. Right, you don't want to edit your policy. No, I just edited the cost for this losing. That's what I did. Yeah. They're saying I got to do all of them. What does that mean? I don't know. I changed this stuff. To see, it was having problems with this the other day with the thing wheel. Eh? Huh? Eh? Try. Okay, so I go back down. You didn't click on this and change it here, right? I did. I did click on that. That's how, how okay. I always change it. Okay. Well, maybe that's what it doesn't like. Try clicking on this. I mean, I did it last night. And then remove overrides. And then do it here. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm just. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not coming at you, guys. Mm -hmm. Providing a. Something else to try. It's the same thing. Yeah, it's the same thing. Um. Anyway, we can have clear liquor, and so it was white tequila that we had, and um, white wine basically. Yeah, it doesn't like this. They have any issues? I remember I couldn't do it before. And then I came back the other day and changed them last night. Did it work? Yeah. But it wouldn't let me do it the first day either. Should I just list it for 15 shipping? I bet we could ship it. Yeah, then we can change it later. We're nah, we can, we can ship it for 15 UPS. Oops. Oops. No, I say oops. <laughs> it's Prime Day, so I thought I might try to find another male mannequin. Boy, I forgot how weird that stuff can get. <laughs> Truth. Caution. Because yeah, don't let anybody list anything on Amazon. Oh my god. Alright, what else am I listing? Give me a thing. The beaded you cushions? Know, yeah, the original Comfo Sager. Comfo. I feel like James would list this. Comfo Sager. You want this for your Porsche, James? Beaded seat cushion? <laughs> Straight out of 1972. <laughs> no, these were like in 1990s. Like, how that could not have been comfortable on your butt. It just couldn't have. No. I don't see this brand. Who forgot these were a thing until right now.
Okay, these things are selling for like twenty or thirty dollars, but they're not that brand. Is so the brand is apparently the OG. Am I spelling it correctly? What how you spell it? C O M F. Oh, I I put it in. Hum Com like comfortable massage, comfo massager. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Uh, we're at 10 items a day right now. Sorry, we, we had to kind of back off a little bit. There's no comfo sager. Rare. <laughs> and it's just one, right? Yes. Oh my god, am I writing this right? Lord. I don't know what I'm listing. Is it zone tech? All all zone tech is coming up. Zone tech? Um let's see. There's no compo sager. <laughs> I cannot. That's well, model 104. <laughs> oh, great. Made in China for Fredco Enterprises. Compo sager trademark is filed in the category of furniture products. Oh my God. No one has the compo sager. <laughs> I really think this is going to be rare. <laughs> Gonna be the best one ever. I mean, if you're gonna get a beaded seat cover, <laughs> might as well get the original comfort sager. <laughs> exactly. All oh, everybody's like rare. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna list it by myself. New in box, new old stock. I think it's new. It looks a little crusty. It looks a little. I mean, the box has been kind of water damaged. <laughs> But I don't think that affects the integrity of the beads. Look at that. It still has the instruction book for the Model 104. <laughs> okay. Here we go. We're going to listing, create listing. Composager beaded seat original. Original composager. New old stock. Model 104. Wow. What? So this thing had a three-year limited warranty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and just listen to this. So uh, during the period of three years from the date of original purchase, Fredco Enterprises will repair or at its option replace the product upon being returned, shipped prepaid with proof of purchase within 15 days, a check in the amount of $5 <laughs> to cover handling, packing, and return shipping wow. to Fredco Enterprises. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the high, they, they're also asking for your total household income on the warranty registration. <laughs> Beads. Now this ages this thing, it really does. So the option under nineteen thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars. Does it have a year on it? Mm, not this thing. <laughs> Original vintage rare seat cover or seat cushion. It is a beaded seat cushion. Cushion. Dimensions okay. are a large eighteen by fifty two. Well, one second, please. <laughs> Material wood. <laughs> is it wooden? Um, I believe so. Wood. Placement on vehicle. Front. Seat. <laughs> it doesn't say that. Front. Front left. Well, I could be in another country. <laughs> Personalized. No. All right. Here we go. It is new other. Yeah, definitely new other. <laughs> All right. Uh, vintage. Rare. In box. <laughs> That's so sweet. Um, all right. 
I bought this. It was me. <laughs> totally. I'm like, I have to have this. Somebody needs this in a prop. Composager. Color. Brown. Um, it's this dark. Um, oh. you call this burgundy? Yeah, they don't have that color. Red? Yeah. Seat type. It has the, uh, the rectangle design. <laughs> <laughs> Not the stripes. Seat, seat type, bucket seat with headrest, bucket seat without headrest, solid bench with headrest. You are in the wrong category if it's asking for those kind of specifics. That's like an actual car seat. No, in, in the category called car seat, cars and accessories. Strange. Um, but I don't know. It could be for any of them. It could be. Yeah. I don't think it says specifically for it as for a bucket seat. Check the wood beads and make sure they are not crumbling. Sometimes they dry out. Karen, how do you know this? Did one of your cars dry out the beads? How do you know this? These feel pretty good. Like I said, I think they I don't think that's ever been installed in a car. Includes original instructions and warranty card. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I'm yeah. putting this thing at a hundred dollars. Y'all think I'm crazy, but I'm Do doing it. it. Here come the pictures. Okay. Hey, Melissa. She said, "I hope you had a nice birthday, Dan." I did. Thank you. I can't believe Karen knows about these. She's an expert. Did you have the composager? <laughs> okay, it's so funny. Okay, what about standard ground plus logo for that guy too? Um, Is that a fake Yeti can? It's it's a Yeti empty can. Yeah, limited edition empty can. Like a stash, whatever. You can put your weed in that? Yeah. yeah. That's right. <laughs> All right, do you want to put $15 on that thing? Um, yeah, sure. Contains 12 ounces of air. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what am I listing next? What is this? I don't know what these things are, so you gotta tell me. Okay, you did this. You did this. You did the hat. Oh. Okay, we got this belt. What is it? It's a Harley Davidson. Men's women's. Women's. Rhinestones. Rhinestone buckle. And it's, it's real leather, but it's also got uh, cowhide. Oh, there's something see. Cattle hair polyurethane lining. Uh, I, I'm, 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 I'
I have used the seat covers for years. I'm waiting for you to list it so I can look at it. Oh my gosh, Karen, I just listed it for a hundred dollars. But if you want it, you can have it for less than a hundred dollars. I was trying to get the TV people to buy it. Nine seven six five five. Nine seven six five five. twelve EW. Or it's Dolan maybe. No, 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 no. Okay. Right. Hey, Esperina. Oh my God, Karen loves the wooden beaded one. <laughs> okay, well, there's a ton on eBay. Buy someone else's. That's cheap. There was like a ton for like twenty or thirty dollars. This was the original composager. I couldn't remember what it was called. <laughs> so I was hoping that someone from TV would buy it. Karen, do not spend a hundred dollars on this composager. <laughs> Please. I mean, you can if you want to. If you want the OG. <laughs> I mean, okay, what size is that belt? You're supposed to measure it and everything. Son you wrapped it up. It up I gave it, yeah. Like, the numbers off the huh? <laughs> uh, that's not true. No, it is true. Absolutely true. A seated. No. A seated. No. Seated. No. <laughs> I've been out all day. What do you? Why would I lie to you about that? Yeah, don't buy it for a hundred dollars. So the whole belt. Send us an offer. I'll, I'll give it to you. It's forty-one inches total. Mm -hmm. There's no size. Large. Oh, it's a large. Okay, but give me the. Yeah. So are your pictures good or should I take okay, whatever. Right. I'm waiting for it to load. Okay, what's the inches? Forty one total. To the last hole? To the last hole is thirty seven. So what should I click? Put all on. 37 inches to the last hole. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And 33 to the first. Karen, I will give you this. <laughs> I will give you this thing. I have never known anyone who uses beaded seat cushions. It's always going to give it to a prop company, but if you actually use them, send us like. 30 20 or 30 dollars that's what the other prices were for i will give you this thing it's amazing <laughs> it's so good i'd rather you have it than some like person i don't know what if you love it what if you hate it you could return it <laughs> <laughs> i don't know susie wants a hustle couple t-shirt dang susie that's a good idea but who wants we need it like a good slogan. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Can you put a skew number? Skew number for the belt? Oh, yeah. Skew. Skew number. Yeah. Twenty-three oh eight. Thank you. Hey, Tracy, we had coffee cupcakes, delish, highly recommend. Mm -hmm. List your shoes. <laughs> you right, you right, Janice. Yeah, the zone tech. Wouldn't be beaded seek, but a zone tech, what you want, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> you know how the buyers, I'm just joking. You you just don't know. Zone tech might not be created like they used to be. This one's OG. <laughs> you can't get a warranty on that. <laughs> yeah, something tells me that Fred Co. is no longer in business. <laughs>
Pictures? Uh, belt pictures? Yep. Okay. First class? Probably, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tommy said double sided t shirt front. Is it 10 30 yet? Back. Do you think I do nothing? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have a cartoon figure of Dan's bald head screaming at us. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Man, you freak out. Never gonna live it down. No, you freak out. <laughs> That's what happens when you freak out. Everyone's saying yes. <laughs> okay, is this a stock photo or just an eBay? Let's take a photo. I don't know, House of Flames. I'll take House of Flames this photo. Because you didn't your photo wasn't that great, I'm saying. Okay. Ah, he doesn't care, eh? Eh? Fine. Also, one of them is just blank. I don't know why it's like not coming through. Oh, and it's not letting me add photos from the desktop. Uh. Again. Why does this happen? It's not letting me. Okay. That's great. Perfect. Love it. Why is your computer messed up? I, I don't The picture of the side. Huh? Harley Davidson Lego should just not do that picture, huh? What's the? So, see how this is white? Yes. This one. It okay. won't load because I guess it's not there. That's weird. Is it just the preview that's not loading? No, the whole, I'm telling you, okay. when this happens, okay. it would just be corrupted. I gotcha. So, should I just take that one out? Sure. Do you want to resend me that one? It could yeah. be the photo that's corrupted. I don't know. Yeah, I'll be sending it. I'm just not sure. Or a spoof a Buffett shirt. It's ten thirty somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all think it's funny because it's ten thirty, but he was only nine thirty here and he's flipping out. <laughs> God. Okay, crazy. The emoji's got to go. Harley Davidson. Harley Davidson has a dash in it. Is that true? Yeah. So it's a large, yeah? Coca-Cola seatbelt belt. Coca-Cola bottle cap seatbelt belt. Alright, do you know what size it is? It is adjustable uh, to either 29, 30, or 31 inches. So that's it just says small and there's a I don't know, they just said that it's small. Around the world. Yeah. Oh, yep. 
god. Okay, what do you say? 32 inches could be it? No, 29, 30, or 31. Yeah, but is that what's going on? It's adjustable. It's got three different snaps. It's got three positions. So you have to either set it to 29, 30, or 31. <laughs> Uh-oh, y'all, he's getting riled up. <laughs> he's getting riled up. Riled up. <laughs> Somebody ask him what size it is. That's fine. Yeah, that's what I just did, Tracy. I picked the middle. <laughs> just like, for God's sakes, pick the middle. Okay, Keep an eye out for a yet brick bottle opener. It's discontinued and going for dumb money. Heard Yeti early. Oh, Yeti. Brick? Yeti brick bottle opener. Eh? What does that look like? I couldn't get, get to. Heard Yeti earlier, but couldn't get to the phone. Heard that? What? Oh, because you asked about if I had a, if that was a Yeti can. Oh, yeah, right. I have a, I have an empty, empty can. The Yeti can, limited edition empty can. <laughs> um, what's the number for the Coca Cola belt? 2308. He said about some brick bottle openers. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Government warning do not drink with bears. It's a Yeti. Do not attempt to crush on forehead. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see these things. So, this is the thing of a bad selfie rate. So, I don't know. This was in our garage. I'm not sure where it came from. But like they have all these listed. Let's see if they're actually selling. I, I doubt it. Nine ninety nine fifteen. See, we're gonna list this right where it's gonna sell. Cause I'm not gonna hang on to this thing for the rest of my life. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Adjustable to three sizes. Yep. What are they? <laughs> Twenty nine, thirty, or thirty one. Are those in good condition? Yeah. No rip stains or tears? <laughs> no. Wait, I'm going to have to look it up for a bottle opener. That's crazy. Casual, unless you're going to the Congress. <laughs> right, unless you're going to testify before Congress. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you want. That was hilarious. That was hilarious. I want to know what the rest of his pins were. Definitely, definitely had a Deftones pin. The off. trial today, the dude was wearing a Descendant shirt and a Deftones pin. His best, his best jean jacket. <laughs> the Oath Keepers guy. I was like, oh lord, here we go. And he was like, oh grandkids. I was like, ooh, <laughs> oh honey, first class for that thing or is that heavy? I think it's first class. Mm -hmm. 11 ounces. First thoughts? Yep. All right, I'm ready for Coca-Cola belt. Picture. Incoming. We're listening to winners tonight. Dan's listening to an empty can. What is this tall? This is a Nespresso pod recycling bin. And you're not sending that to Frank. Why? Because he doesn't use a Nespresso. Does he? No. He yeah. bought it. Yeah, but I didn't think he like actually like, used it. Used it. Yeah, it's at his office. He used everything. Oh, uh, well, we can send it to Frank. Well, how much is it worth? I don't remember. Mm. Check it out. See, one of the photos isn't loading. What do you know? Why does it do that? I don't know, but the whole thing won't load if one doesn't load. I gotta take it out. Oh no, we stuck. We're in a holding pattern. Oh no. See none of the pictures on there. I said to redo it. I was watching a Houston neurologist divorce all day. So fascinating. <laughs> a neurologist only makes fifty five hundred every two weeks. I want to send him a mystery box. He does not make fifty. No way. No way. We know of. 
plastic surgeon guy who makes like a million a week. It's crazy. No. 5,500 every two weeks. I think they make it 5,500 a day. Wish. No, seriously. A neurologist? Does he do surgeries? Or he just like talks to people? My neurologist is pretty chill though. I can see that. <laughs> she better, yeah. I don't really say much. 5,500 every two weeks, pretty decent living. That for a neurologist. Yeah, but dude, that's like 11 grand a month. It's... That's not great for a neurologist. Seriously, compare Is that. that... Post tax or pre tax? Compare right. that to Buck Guy. Mm-hmm, yeah, well. See? Buck Guy, neurologist, brains. Yeah. <laughs> Most like, sounds good to me. <laughs> <laughs> Dan too. <laughs> All right, what's this next thing? What are we doing? Uh, the next Mara built. What is it? Cooking started sudden. It says weekend. Oh my God! Stop driving your phone. It says you, whose phone has always fallen on the floor lately. <laughs> you drop your phone like. Why you I caught it. Why you put it on the edge? Like, put it on the table. <laughs> no. Oh my god! <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Mm-mm. Right, that happened. Is my tomorrow one word or two words? It's, it's one. That's what it looks like on here anyway. It's all beautiful and. <laughs> Weekend is like their lower. Yeah. Still made in Italy, though. I can't. I know. That's what he's telling his soon-to-be ex-wife. Mm-hmm, that's what I'm saying. He is. He's pulling the wool over somebody. Yep, they showed his pay stubs and all. Trust me, he is no brain surgeon. Not very bright. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Okay, so there's a difference between just a regular old neurologist and brain surgeon. I bet the salary is like nuts. Yeah, and also with like plastic surgery, you're you're filling patient like it's totally different. The volume of patients, you know what I mean? That all comes into play. What size is that belt? Large. This one YouTube channel is all family law around the Austin, Houston area. Pretty wild. <laughs> oh my God, Matt came in here. That's my purse. <laughs> I don't know you. <laughs> you know, you're, you're not right. Not even a little bit right. <laughs> what are you talking about? All right, what's the number you're putting it in? Twenty-three thirteen. So I was Max Mara weekend, right? Yep. Second. Mm-hmm. Do you know the length? Thirty seven to forty one. Two forty one inches? Yep. Every time you click on a specific mm-hmm. um it like has to blank out and then like I reload. Know. I know. Oh, it's so annoying. So stupid. Is it leather? Um, it doesn't say, but yeah, I think so. Punk rock, baby. Descendants. I cannot believe this guy wore this at Congress. He wore a Descendants t-shirt. And if anybody's a fan of the Descendants, like myself, you know that logo from a mile away. And so he had his jean jacket, and you could only see, like, the middle part and the top part of the hair of the guy. <laughs> and I look again, I'm like, he is wearing a damn descendant shirt. And I showed him the logo, and Dave was like, yep, he is. <laughs> yep. He really did. He really did. He wore a punk rock t-shirt to the Congress, the congressional hearing. He really did. <laughs> He 
guess do what you gotta do. At least showed up. I don't know. Oh, that shows. Tommy's still talking about this case. I love it. <laughs> I love that you said you were watching. At least you got stuff listed. Proud of you. The little guy with the hair, you know, in the Descendants logo, how it's like Descendants across the top, and then there's like that little face, and he has little like Doug hair, or like Skeeter hair, Skeeter, Skeeter, I don't know. Anyway, it's a very recognizable logo, and then this dude was just wearing this t-shirt at the congressional hearing. I said, oh lord, here we go. He was an Oath Keeper, so I was a, you know. But he was trying to cover up his descendant shirt. Like, he couldn't notice that it was freaking black and white descendant shirt that everybody had in high school. Everybody had that shirt. Like, I know this shirt. He was all like, I have grandkids. I'm like, buddy, stop wearing a descendant shirt. <laughs> Crying about your grandkids. <laughs> take him in the mosh pit. Like, right. what are you doing? Come on, guy. <laughs> that guy was weird. He was an oath keeper. Former. So he said. All right, what's the next thing? This, uh, hey, Ruth. This belt buckle right here? No? Uh, I'll, I'll see if there's anything listed on here. Uh, okay, hold on. Ruth saying, just got home from taking my oldest to get x-ray on his finger, wrist, and neck. Oh, Lord. Oh, man. Hope Dan had a great birthday with those yummy sunny cupcakes. I did. Thank you very much. They were delicious. We had more today. Mm. Oh, my gosh. Tommy said, poor guy. He said his wife made him sell his sports car because he had affairs in them. <laughs> now he walks to work to save money. Stop it. He Ubers. How has eBay possibly been today? Um, low, low, low. We've been getting the lowest ball offer. Like we have something listed for $175 and someone just offered 15. Yep. So that's where we're at today. Amanda said, I like watching Yvonne B here on YouTube. Those cases are made up, but they crack me up. I've never even heard about this. Nope. Don't get me started. Don't get me started. Yeah, what happened to your son, Ruth? Wrist and neck. I can't remember what you said. And that's, I'm not trying to be rude, but you know my short-term memory is terrible. That waste of time with politicians complaining, and there is zero percent chance that they do anything that's barely making news over abortions and mass shootings. I can't yeah. even tell you what I think right now. <clears throat> What's the next thing we'll sing? Um, the belt buckle. If you want to. Native American belt buckle. Native American belt buckle. Because it's, it's a different thing. Head. Head? Yeah. Bust. Head? Head. <laughs> you didn't want to Google image there for me or anything? I, mean, I can. Is it like or anything? I have no clue. Uh, let's find out. Just not sure what the PC way to do this is. Do you guys pick up bags? What kind of bags? Women's handbags? Yes. So bags? somebody has this thing on Etsy. Different buckle, same same head design. Yeah. And they just called it Western style belt buckle. We are waiting for the results of the x-ray. He's in a lot of pain, so the doctor sent him for x-ray and blood work. He is 26. Test results tonight or tomorrow. Oh, poor baby. So there's so somebody has this exact one on Etsy for $32. They called it Vintage Brass Indian Chief Belt Bubble. Let us say that. 
I'm not sure. I think so. Belt bucks. Buckled. Chinese takeout bags. Somebody has it on eBay for 20. Same exact one. This is a Native American for sure. I don't even see the one that we have. He said there's an eBay. Let's see if we see it. Come up. What's the eBay listing called? Just closed it. Hold on. Why? <clears throat> The eBay listing is called Come on. Vintage Indian Head Belt Buckle Solid Brass. Hey, you know it's solid brass. I'm just reading you what he said. I know, but do you know it doesn't I, say the that working? There's a there's an M stamp on the back, but I don't have no idea what it means. I, I don't see it. Let me see it. It doesn't, doesn't come up. This item is no longer available. <laughs> you can tell me that now. Oh, all right. <laughs> you, can, <laughs> yeah, you want the item number so you can sell some of your for me? Cool. If it's not available, I don't think the item number will help me. Yeah, you can still pull up the listing. No, you do it. Oh, here it is. eBay.com slash. Luckily, he still lives with us, so I'm taking care of him. I've got Panda Express tonight, his favorite. Is any painkiller working? Oh, my goodness. This is stressful. What's hurting? His head, his neck, or his, what's hurting? Oh, my goodness, poor guy. But there's no leather belt in this situation, right? No, just the buckle. Vintage Native American. I'm, 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 I'm yeah. going to do the right thing. Sure. Native American chief head belt buckle solid brass. Indian belt buckle? Yeah. Solid brass oval. Is there stars or something? I mean, it's not stars, but it's like something. Yeah, I took out the belt part. This is going to be real. This is a pinger. The Pinger, capital P. There's no way this is solid brass. No way. This is a lie. This is the biggest Pinger we ever had in our life. Brass, oval, with border. Ooh, what'd you sell? What's the number? 2313. You would? All right, I'll put it. But if I get taken down, I'm blaming you, Matt. Trust you. Trust you. Okay, well, I put both so people know that I know. Right. Theme, not Indian. Native Because Indian is like the country. Ooh, kiss belt buckle for 500. Dang. What? Very nice. Very nice. What did it look like? Tell me everything. <laughs> All the things. What's the size? You um, have to get it and measure. <laughs> four inches by two inches. Okay. I was just no, I'm trying to remember. Like, we need the size. Okay. Or about two and a half or something. I took pictures with the ruler. <clears throat> it's 
started with his finger, then went to his wrist, and now his neck too. So far, my depression has been what the doctor gave him two weeks ago to try instead of go through all of these tests. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's get it out of here. All right. Okay. Wow. Looked like a literal piece of crap broken and scratched made of pot metal. I bet you my friend Raw involved it. <laughs> I say friend loosely. Acquaintance? Yeah. I bet he bought it. All right, what's next? The uh, hundred beats. Oh, Do they have a number? Yeah. The style or something. Let me see. Called the Regent. W two three seven one two. So it's five hundred. UK three. UK three. US five. Sold another Steve Harvey blazer. Nice. That's funny. I see him every once in a while. Maybe I should start grabbing them. How much did it sell for? Regent Carlisle. Regent St. James. Regent, there's not there's another word after it. Okay. Pick up four from the dollar rack. You want to look for bell buckles with 925. Yeah. That would be nice. Yeah. Okay. Can you give me the things again? Okay. Black. Okay. Women hunter. Yep. Women's size. Five. five. U.S. Yep. Three. Okay. Okay. Regent tall rain boots. Wellies. And then I got the number. Um, I'm just going to price these pretty low. What's the number on them? 
They're going to look for the calf circumference. I'm sure of it. Fourteen, mm, no, thirteen inches. Thirteen inches? Yep. Which I don't know how this would be because my calves are humongous, way more than thirteen inches. Boots are structurally sound and waterproof, but there is, what do you call it, is some residue yeah. on the outside from normal wear. I mean, I just normally wore them. I didn't go to, like, Vietnam or anything. <laughs> I mean, London is kind of rainy. <laughs> Big fat rain. go low like 29.95 the comps aren't great okay. not even just those i mean these are listed for 90 but like that's stupid yeah. the ones selling are selling for like 25 well that one's over 49 but they're different yeah might could get a little more 49.95 okay all right okay and what do you what Shipping. I think we got this belt. We didn't buy this belt buckle specifically. It was in an auction lot, which we bought a belt buckle for my dad. And so it came in. There's a couple of belt buckles that came with it. So we were just going to list them because we had them. Total pingers, though. Probably shouldn't have. Yeah, we're working on a movie next week. Lord help us. In the heat. Janice is in Waxahachie, if you're still here. Ruth, I'm with you. All I bought was silent tape. Womp, womp, womp. All right, what's next? We're filming a movie next week in Waxahachie. You want me to send this to Frank? How much is it worth? I don't, I don't remember. Nespresso or second bin? Did you look this up at the store? I think so. It was months ago. I don't even remember how long ago. 999 best offer. Sweet. Sweet. <laughs> oh my god. There's no way you look this up. There's no way. Two dollars. <laughs> Does it go on the machine? No. Muted out with the phone. Okay, what's the next one? The waste of time. Slam shot puppet. Okay, there's a lot of these, mm -hmm. so I need more information. Okay. Do you know the year or anything? Mm -hmm. Pinger alert! <laughs> That's all casting you. It's from, well. Does it have legs? Remember the one yeah. lamp shop had legs? So some lamp shops have legs. legs. There's an item number also. Okay, can I can you just look at this one and tell me if it looks like this one? Yep, that's it. Direct connect. International. That's exactly that one. Perfect. Now we know how to 
the kids were. I think this was ours. We did sell a lamb chops recently. No, this is not us. Okay. Um. Okay, Direct Connect International Sherry Lewis Lamb Chop. Mm -hmm. Do we have the link on that? Mm -hmm. We are so full in our office. Wow. 13 inches. Are you going to need another? Is this the last thing? Yeah. You want me to do this? Oh. Mm -hmm. We're all okay. <laughs> Know where she came from. I got bras, I got trolls, I got a calculator. Ooh, put some better than this and get some money real quick. Okay. <laughs> Just threw that Put right that on down. It's fine. Just took a tumble. <sighs> What'd you say, 13 inches? Yeah. Okay, this is Z. Yep. Shops have been in our laundry room so long. Oh my gosh, y'all are cute. I just sent a Christmas. I don't care. I'm talking about when they can start using Christmas quality mailers. Uh, we don't. We use everything. We use Amazon. Don't care. Don't care. Are you typing boobies? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Every time a guy gets on a calculator, it's boobies. <laughs> oh, six dollars for a hundred. See, she ordered it. You do it. UFO shaped building still and walk the hatchy near the interstate. <laughs> I did drive through rock the hatchy, but I don't know. Janet's like, if you mean the church, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Who is a UFO church? Y'all, did you see the plant, the galaxies? That's so cool. Actually, Space is so mind cool. blowing. I know, I can't wrap my mind around it. Oh, I guess I need photos. Can you send me lamb chops on your chest? You doing some equations over there? I'm just messing around. Does it work? Yeah. Oh, yes. So we have this thrift store that in their junk bags of stationery, which I love to buy, they hide calculators in them. And in these calculators, like TI-84+, Plus, which is almost 100% sell-through rate, right? That over time, over a year, I bet it's close, close to 80% or something. And anyway, they're always in the stationary bags where no one looks. And I'm like, yes. I get the stationary and the calculator. Look at this little guy. Is Lamb Chops a girl or a boy? We don't know. I'm not going to sing the song. You don't have to worry, but I really want to. Lamb Chops a girl. Why? Should we? Because uh, of those eyelashes? <laughs> Got them long eyelashes. Remember that Jamie Foxx thing? <laughs> Looking all dainty. <laughs> no, that's what he was talking about, Prince. No, LL Cool J, how you get that? A little piece of spit. <laughs> oh, why?
Okay, this is just a regular TI-84 plus? It is a regular TI-84 plus. Gosh, should we just copy our own listings? How do I do this? Ended schedules. Oh, see, I don't know how to copy my own listings. Okay. Price on the calculator? Uh, $1.99 for the junk bag or something. $1.50, baby, so it's a dollar fifty total. Nice. And look what I got out of it. Body wipes. Uh, can you give me an empty bin number, please? Um, it should fit in $22.92. Okay, what about this? Do you think anyone wants this little quick, fun big 12? Phillips 66. Kansas City Big 12 I mean, Championship. The strength bag is not very good, but it has that in it. So it's good. Oh, look what it has! Nice. Are you super stoked? I am pretty stoked. Dan loves these like quickie with the four colors pins. Loves them. It's like a cop notebook. Huh? It's like a cop notebook. Yeah, that'd be a good prop. <laughs> Show them, they can't see it. <laughs> like a little leather, you know, flip top notepad Cop thing. Cop notebook. Cop notebook. Detective. Get away, inspector. Inspector. Can I send you pictures of this TI-84? Um, I need a, hold on. Slight scratch. Is there any scratches on it? Sure. No. Okay. I'm just going to go sold in New York Republic. We did just sell one. Okay, so the new ones are going for a hundo, 95, 60. They got like 50 last time. I'm gonna put it at 64.95 and then we'll just, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. There's no, no dead pixels in there on the screen, which is good. No dead pixels. Black tested works with cover. What did I say? Twenty-two ninety-two. <laughs> works. No dead pixels. I would list these calculators all day if I could. So we're going to list this at like $64.95, not on sale, not promoted, and someone is going to come in at like $50, and we're going to be like, yes, I got it for $1. Yes, that's great. So some people that say they don't flip these, they just, they're holding out for like, there's so many of them, you yeah. can't hold out for the highest price. Do I ship, ship that? First class or priority? Priority. Okay. I mean, it's less than a pound, but you want, we're going to want the insurance and the fast transit and all that. So. Okay. I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. Kyle has spaceship landing spaces for rent in California. <laughs> Short term, no pets. <laughs> I love it. Complimentary orbs. <laughs> oh, look, Dan shutting it down, Lord. I don't know how many we got down, but that's all we do. <laughs> I feel like, like we did a decent number. You think? Yeah. No? I have no clue. I don't either. Did you write a message here? Sure. Did you write a message? No, it was just a menu. Oh. <laughs> like an applications menu or something. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to flip on over to web.venue.co. Oh. Check in, everybody. What would you get done tonight? 
I love seeing all the comments on yesterday's YouTube video, not on this channel and our other channel, because it was so many people I didn't know. There's so many people, you know what I mean? Yeah. They're like part of the family and we don't know them. Lurkers. That is great. I loved it. <laughs> Okay, prove hard goods are faster. Ten items here to finish. We can't do that with clothes. No way. <laughs> Matt said so far eating a pack of beef jerky. <laughs> what about beef jerky? I said, what'd you get done? He's just eating beef jerky oh, so nice. far. Nice. Delicious. You listed ten, Janice? Wow. And so did Amanda. Oh my awesome. god. And awesome. So Yeah. Completed three jobs. Good job, Esperina. You got this. She's getting back in the game. We're trying to clear out stuff from our house, but these $15 offers, that's like, I, I can't even say insulting because that means I take it personally. I don't. But you can't just give some things away that are worth way more. That's an autographed item, right? Yeah. Fifteen dollars? Get out of here! I wouldn't sell. I wouldn't sell that shirt unautographed for fifteen dollars. <laughs> Lord. Let's see if our eBay faucet's on. Check. Come on, faucet. <laughs> eBay faucet not on. Oh man. We sold two things today, and both were very low ball. You know, what we do have is a ton of things in purgatory. Yeah. Eight right now. Ooh, I got to go through and clear. Cancel all the ones that need to be canceled. And... But a lot of them were things that, like we sold a Patagonia shirt for $11. Like a thin little base layer. Yeah. Yeah. No, we don't, we don't use auto decline because sometimes we're, you know, we're trying to move stuff and we'll take really low offers. Yeah, let's do a $6 <laughs> offer today. Yeah. It really doesn't take much time to, like, deal with an offer. Yeah. Yeah, Matt, it came, it came through right before we started shipping. So we're like, yeah, let's grab it. <laughs> Why not? Ask him if he can play that video game with you. Yeah, well, I don't even know what that game is. Do you know? I don't, tell me. You got to tell me about it. I don't know anything about it. Ooh, locally sourced and free range orbs from Kyle. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we can. <laughs> <laughs> you killed him. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> it is a cool shirt. He paid a lot of money for it, to be honest. I think he paid like eight bucks for it or something. Yeah, it was a Goodwill. Goodwill buy. We don't pay that much for stuff. So he liked it too. He all could fight over it. And we do not have two of those. We only have one of that one. We have two of a different one. Oh, we have two of the other one? Yeah. Okay. So if you need a duplicate, we don't have it. Use auto accept. Put your absolute bottom price, and then they pay almost immediately. What? I mean, I, I get what you're saying, but again, I think Amy and I both like, we both like to like to have the control just the kind of whatever we're you know feeling at the moment like hey do we want to take that okay because it does it changes day to day what we're willing to accept and what we're not <laughs> it really does especially if we haven't had any sales like we'll take a sale to get a conversion yeah again i can't prove it but i very much think that conversions beget more conversions and you get more traffic i don't know why 
but if we haven't sold anything all day and we take like a low ball offer, all of a sudden a bunch of sales will come in. And if we haven't sold anything all day and we counter offer and we don't get the sale, crickets all yep. day. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, it is. So sometimes we'll take a $6 offer on a t-shirt that we have nothing into and we have had forever just yep. to get things moving. Yep. Yeah, there's a lot of factors for sure. I mean, this one low ball that's on, on our eBay right now, we're definitely not going to take. But sometimes we do. Yeah, see, another, oh, another that's another glitches. reason we stay away from it. <laughs> no glitches. Oh, there was something we needed to take the decline off because it was more than the price. Oh, oh what was it? Yeah, I that, it down. Did you fix it? I did not because we had to wait for the offer or whatever to expire. It was cheap. It was like an eight dollar thing. But the other decline was like twelve. Yeah. No, it was. I think the auto decline was eight, but the thing was listed on sale at like seven ninety six or something silly. <laughs> oh, can you remember what it was? I wrote it down somewhere. Okay. I don't know. I don't either. All right, we're all good. Okay. We'll see you tomorrow, you guys. Thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks really for hanging. It. Yeah, seriously. Everybody have a great night, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.